Hello, Wynn family and anybody else that may be watching online. I am Pastor Dave, pastor of Winchester First Church of the Nazarene. And I'm um, just coming to you to uh, share a word of encouragement and a couple of thoughts and a time of reflection. And uh, before I get started with that, uh, here I am. It's March 17th, 2020, uh, one year after my arrival, my first day in ministry at Winchester First Church of the Nazarene. This is my one year anniversary as your pastor and uh, if you'd have told me a year ago that I would have had to figure out different ways in, in which to pastor outside of the norm um, I would have thought you were crazy but here we are one year later after my start date with you all and uh, we're having to be creative and we're not being able to be together so I'm going to start a, a series of videos to just kind of have an opportunity to be there with you and to help you as you walk through this journey and to give you some encouragement from the Word of God. I'm thankful that we have the Word of God because it is our hope, it is our treasure, it is our peace. And I'm so thankful that God has given us His peace through His Word. And we're going to do that together. And you know what? We're going to have a little fun too. And uh, I want you to I want you to think fun with me. Uh, you know I'm a little bit crazy. I can do some pretty crazy things. And uh, I think we're going to be starting this journey together, not only getting some encouragement from the Word of God, but how about some laughter together? How about sharing together uh, different things that could be fun? Different ways of interacting, uh, different ways of being the church. There are many ways that we can interact, especially in this day and age of technology. But uh, one of the things that I'm gonna be doing on a regular basis on these videos, um, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to literally see what it looks like to be inside of my mind. Now, a lot of you who sit under my ministry, you, you get to enter my mind, which sometimes can be a scary place to be, a crazy place to be, but it's also a very fun place to be. So we're gonna have some fun with this, and I encourage you to have some fun as well. Take some time to also uh, reach out to one another. Uh, see if anybody has needs. We have many of our church family who are shut in. They might not be able to get out because of health reasons and of age, and they have to be uh, self-quarantined, just staying inside or self-isolation, I guess the word is. So let's just uh, be thinking of our brothers and sisters that might have a need, and let's reach out and be the church that God has called us to be. If there's ever a time for the church to be the church, it is right now, especially in this time of, of chaos and frenzy, uh, craziness, all the different things you could think of. But uh, nonetheless, we still are a family. The church is not a building. You know, oftentimes we talk about in the church, um, you know, the, the church is made up of just the people. The church is literally people. We don't have to have the building. I've used that in many analogies in my messages about if we were to lose the building, would we still be the church? Well, this is the time where we get to find that out. And I'm looking forward to at least having these opportunities to share together with you through these encouraging videos and these times that we can share together. Please be sure to interact with each and every one of these. We appreciate your comments, your thoughts, your inputs. Maybe a word that you might have encouraging your brothers and sisters in Christ and the world around you. This is the time where uh, the church can step up and really make a difference because we're being called outside of the norm. And then many times we talk about being called outside the comfort zone. Well, we're kind of outside the comfort zone, but I'm gonna be honest with you. You see where I'm sitting. This is a pretty good comfort zone to be in and I'm thankful uh, for my one year anniversary, thankful for the kudos and the, the thoughts and the messages that have come my way today, the words of encouragement to Kathy and I. Just know that we love and appreciate each and every one of you, and we are thankful for the opportunity to serve right here in Winchester, Virginia. As you can see, we, we are mountain people. We love the streams and we love the mountains, so I thought I'd give you the stream and the mountains behind me. But uh, not only thankful for the beauty that God has created, but I'm thankful for each one of you, and I am thankful and blessed that uh, you called Kathy and I to be your pastor and family. And I just want to encourage you once again, just say that we love you. Now, on to some business. I uh, had a great conference call with uh, Dr. Fuller, our uh, Virginia district superintendent, and uh, the pastors on the district. We had a great video conference this afternoon, just sharing some updates and some different things. I know a lot of people have questions about what's going on with this and that, but um, our, our district uh, superintendent and district leadership, our advisory board, have uh, put out the encouragement to each church uh, that we follow the guidelines of the government, that we not meet for the next two weeks, which I put that announcement out uh, yesterday, and you had an opportunity to see that, and our schedule is posted on the website. So please take note of that, all the different things that are going on, but we are gonna be closed uh, to uh, gathering together for at least two weeks, and we're gonna follow the guidelines per our government and per our district. 
And I want you to know, as I was in the church yesterday afternoon, I, I walked into the sanctuary as I was praying over each one of you, and I was, uh, I was a little bit saddened. And I'm saddened right now as I share with you because I love being with my family, my church family. And uh, I just got to thinking as I'm standing in there praying over you all, it might be a few weeks, might be a few months, we don't know, until we're able to meet normally again. So as I said, this is a time where we can be creative and still interact with one another in many different ways. And this is just one avenue that we're going to, uh, to work with and work through. So uh, with that said, I just want to encourage you um, through the Word of God. And I'm thankful uh, we can look into the Word of God and it comes to life at any given time in our life. And especially in these, these times that we are facing right now. This morning I was doing a morning devotion out of Isaiah chapter 40. And I really got caught up on verse 28 through 31. Verse 28 of Isaiah chapter 40 reads, Do you not know, have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God. He is the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired. He will not grow weary. And his understanding, no one can fathom. We can't understand it, folks. Verse 29 says, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men, they stumble and fall. But those whose hope is in the Lord, they will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. He gives strength to the weary. Verse 29. He gives strength to the weary and he increases the power of the weak. As we are going through these difficult days and these times of um, where we're trying to figure out how we're just going to do life in general, just know that God will give strength to us in these times because God, he is the constant in our life and his source of strength is unending and there's enough for everybody to go around. God is not like toilet paper, he does not run out. In fact, his, his strength, his love, his grace, his power, his mercy, his peace, his joy, it goes on and on and on and on. It's an unending supply. He never runs out and I'm thankful for the strength and the power that God gives to each one of us. Verse 31 says, but those whose hope, whose hope, where is your hope today? Whose hope is in the Lord, they will renew their strength and they will soar on wings like eagles. They will run. I love this. They will run. I do not like to run. They will run and they will not grow weary. Boy, how I would love that. I would love to be able to run like crazy and not get tired. That's the way it works with God. You can run and never grow weary and never grow tired as long as your hope and your strength is in Him. They will walk and they will not be faint. One of those words in verse 31 that I want you to think about for the rest of this week in your prayer time, in your devotion time, uh, your study time, you can look up various scriptures around that word renew. So that is, that is my scriptural challenge to you this week. Just study all about renewal and what that means. So as we think of that word renewal, as we prepare for our online worship this Sunday, where the sermon will be hinged around renewal, I want you to think about that. Renewal, a time of renewal is a, focus, is a time of refocusing. It's a time of reshifting. It's a, it's a time of resetting, resetting our commitment to God. And this is a time where we are called to slow down. And first off, in the book of Psalms, chapter 46, verse 10, it tells us to be still and know that He is God. Not that you are God, but know that He is God. And when we slow down, we can realize that God is awesome and mighty. We're not distracted by the world because our focus comes on the God. So, I guess, you know, they're calling it COVID-19 uh, restrictions, COVID-19 isolations, uh, social distancing, if you will. Let's just call it, this is the time that God has called for His people, His creation, to be Psalm 4610. We need to be still and know that He is God. And we come before the Lord slow. When we come before the Lord undistracted, we can realize and, and find strength in His power, in His grace, and in His might. So those whose hope is in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary, and they will walk, and they will not be faint. So think about it. This week as we head into uh, through the week and into our Sunday worship online, 
think of that word renewal and what that means for you personally, what that means for your family. Let this be a time of renewing your mind and your spirit and your walk with the Lord. God is so good to each one of us and we have every reason to sing his praises and to be blessed even in times as crazy as this because God is the renewer of all things. And yes, things seem crazy now, but just think, even though they're crazy, God is working, God is renewing, and he is mighty. To the Lord be praised. Amen.